All right, Sabre here were NDC Amanu Kwen headquarters. Na uh Oshe number no I bought a Kai see where one who say a tre honorable doctor Kwabne J Nanti ye. Uh headquarters and Tia Siena say aha and uh one bed no ebe free and sana yako parliament. Na fe atwaso ako akwa ku ye a wo a ye and crum one kasa. Kobi Fiagbe, eh, communicators, ma, NDC, ama, nyoko, no. Eh, Dr. Kwabne, ye, minu, mse, wanini, ye, jume, ye, pa, eh, ya, ya, mwa, kwa, ba. Ya, minu, ya, ya, ma, ya, hu, ya, ko. Dr. Kwabne, ye, body, eh, na, isi, eh, ni, mwe. Eh, di, eh, na, obe, ka, eh, de, afano, ho. How well did you know him? Well, eh, Dr. Kwabne, ye, ye, obi, ya, na, ansana, na, obe, ye, chairman of the party, you know, uh, na oye MP, na oye minister, we depart in uh, in various ways, minority leader, majority leader in parliament and all that. And the uh, oh, sa ye feno ahumbrase ne tima ye di depart ye nim. No matter what you think the problem is, if it's a who feel said ye woke and cry and says enya enya says em cry o. Or before a coin be a man who said no, we also we a party neighbor, and he was an all encompassing personality. Or man, or be every single one. I'm going to say, I say, it will be at the house on us, and she to say, I can remember no, it is something good or me. Blessing, blessing, and she said, Oh, yeah, will be a no joke or on him day. And uh, he related with everybody, and it was easy for him to do because once there, uh, he came from the UP stock uh, to the PNDC, and then stayed in and became part of the NDC and all that. And he he never lost touch with his UP uh, contacts and all that. So he, he he worked with everybody, and like I'm saying, he was a wonderful personality. Wayo Wayo that we used to call him and the uh, Cat Hunter. He he says that uh, he's the Toby 
He stuck me at that they will lack like banto play mamla. You do understand what it means? Uh -huh. Tug B, the cat hunter, the first and the last. Uh -huh. So that was the title that he gave himself after the uh, famous, uh, there are several ways to kill a cat and all that statement. Yeah. So really, he was a very, very nice person. It's not as if because he's dead that we, we Ghanaians, we tend to eulogize people after they are dead. But no, I hardly know anybody who would uh, say anything that we would consider um, like... Uh, this thing about Kwabnaji, no, I, I hardly know. I, I don't know anybody who would. He's, he's, an, he's just a human being, a human being with an angelic uh, uh, character. Yeah, he, he has his faults. He has his faults, but those faults do not make him any less human than anybody else. And so it's a great loss for the NDC. It's a great loss for Ghana. It's a great loss. Look, in, even when he's angry, when he's angry, you can one more time and he will Yeah, oh, me home once or twice, and you can see he, he, he tends to, yeah, measure his words and hold himself back, and hmm, and then, and you you understand? Unlike others who would be rambunctious and all that, hitting on tables and stuff like that, he tends to be one who would hold his words back, and uh, so yeah. That's the man we are mourning today. That's the man we are going to bury tomorrow. And uh, uh, his legacy lives on in the NDC and I believe in the rest of Ghana. And so all we can say is that a big tree has fallen for the NDC and for Ghana. Kobe, you that be. Okay, T. Your name Penny Fono, I walk past the more ABD and Comos Abri, said the AD candidate to Ghana. General Secretary of the NDC, Enina Ewaha, Womo, Ebuana. General, you are a Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm saying, Nedi, I can tell you when you I can tell you, 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 Yo, send the asama do a country no di. I'm saying you na be kobi. Enti yewra ho, but bibia ni ho enti mi misa ni angkopo on question. And enti di ayesre ni se di asi babio ubi ano omwai na ekono e da enimno. Enti mi ngko eningko ni mi mfanche na ni monyam. Said the 2008. When no dear anymore, a day and Chairman, uh, Fana, um, oh, yeah, but uh, definitely, oh, no, yeah, former chairman. Um, what will you say, dear Nabeka? Well, I'm saying, uh, you're Dr. Kamaji has some party, I'm not a chairman, no, I'm a organizer, and then, uh, and then Titian and Ashra, I'm a Miss Mababa, chairman, to me, you chairman for you now. Yeah, you are coffee pot of Ah, no, so be the Nadiano. No, no, so and I need to do sank on near Bawaha. Now, so no, 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 Hey, the 
pray. There was a queen in the Bible who was elected as a queen, even though she did not qualify by citizenship, called Queen Esther. As a matter of fact, in the book of Esther, there's nowhere that the name God appeared, except one word, deliverance and enlargement. Now, so soon, the queen forgot herself. And Israel was in trouble. The Jews were in trouble. And Mordecai sent a message to the queen that somebody has planned to destroy the whole of the Jewish race. So please come and help us. And she said, I cannot help you because you know the law. But Mordecai sent a word to the queen, Queen Esther, and said, if you fail to deliver us and enlarge us, if you fail to deliver us and play your role, God will send deliverance and enlargement from another place. Amen. But you yourself, you will not be safe. Now, afterwards, the queen came to herself and realized that she has been brought at that place at such a time like this for a purpose to deliver the people of Israel. What I want to remind all of us is that anytime God wants to do something, he does it through human beings. And so Esther's presence, even though she saw herself as a queen, she was brought at that place to be used by God to help Israel. In the same manner, when we reflect and uh, transposition it onto our present era, Jane, David said, the Bible says that David, after Serving God and his generation. Service to generation is a service to God. And we can testify to the fact that Governor James served her, his own generation in his time. And that is also the work of God. So any man who has been brought to a public position and any man who has been appointed to a place, if you forget that your calling is according to God's plan and purposes, to deliver your people and to serve your people, you have lost the purpose of God. Today, we are here because a man that was raised served his generation. And as a, as a matter of fact, consequentially, he served God. So we are here praying and testifying to the fact that he served his nation well in the public service. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. And for all of us here, the Bible says in Psalm 46, though the mountains be removed and the hell be removed and be put into the sea, we shall not be afraid because we have a God. We shall not be afraid of the turbulence by day or by night in whatever is going on in the nation. But God raised men with courage like David and so shall your courage be in times like this. And so shall strength be for God is your refuge and your strength in time of need. May you all find shelter under the grace of God. Amen. May he be your strength and your power. Amen. And for the man that has committed a soul, the departed soul, Jesus said on the cross, unto your hands, O God, I commit my spirit. There is a reliable hand in life and after death that we can all commit our souls to. Today, this soul is committed into the hands of the Almighty God. Amen. And today, even as he has finished his work, may God also help all of us to finish our work. Amen. Paul said, I've run the race. I've run the race. I've fought a good fight. And now there awaited me a crown. Having done all, we will stand to serve our nation and serve God. May God richly bless all of you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, death is sure and life is short. Our life, your word tells us, is like a flower that grows in the morning. It flourishes in the morning, but in the evening it is no more. So therefore we should learn to number our days. For our days are 70. Ten, three scores and ten days, ten years. And for that matter, yeah, our brother, who has clocked the 70 plus, 
has served in fullness of time. And we know that, Lord, it is your blessing. It is your blessing. We pray that you console the family. We pray, pray that those that he has left behind, the vacuum in the hearts of the people, may you fill the vacuums in their hearts. And may all of us also, who have lost a friend, who have lost a brother, who has lost a father, who has lost a mentor, may you, O oh God, touch our hearts and replace it uh, with another good person. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 So, when the Herodian and the Pharisee appeared, approached Jesus Christ, they asked, should we pay taxes to Herod? Jesus said, he took the coin and said, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and give unto God what is God. Governor J, chairman departed, you are leaving the headquarters of the NDC. You chair the party well, and you are departing to the land beyond. You're on your way to your hometown before joining your ancestors. Amen. Amen. This is drink. And this is water. Fafa, fafa, fafa. Mojineko. Alright, it's Abre uh but you know at the Womwani HMO uh parliament. Na if we wa na at waso na ye de emuno at me a co on one kasa nikrum to say on our way to parliament uh and no and uh at waso um we'll be bringing you some other interviews along the line to uh Dr. Kwabneje final farewell I de mano. Our NDC Amanu Kuno party headquarters. The home Ensign Gru and a home Paye and Sabri Akosono. A party in Penny Funing in a Etwaso, Nasabri, Yakwa Kupimu, a war parliament. Now a Honsono, members of parliament are one more and no Asum Paino, one more a Trimi, a Huno de Chatwokra, and which she and Sana Bibia, a Trimi, Atwaso, Nakupi, a Muno. Ako a year on one Casa Nicrumo, Nafe, a year on Aquaco Trasso Elvo. And for now, let's be watching some of the shots, maybe as we follow uh, the convoy you know, to Parliament.
And this is a very trust on a year for a body in a bra. Yeah, then I'll call Parliament. Slam Technologies at the computer this year be a bar. Ebe bwao, amu wa tumpon, e wo computer e juma yemu. Slam Technologies, e jidi se, enchire chire pa, ene nea ensanu nyuma e kahon. Inti wo mode nwoma, e chire wadieno, na wo nsasu e di e chire. Slam Technologies, e wo Manassas, Virginia, Worcester, Massachusetts, ene Accra, Ghana. Ya mo kru dia emane how Slam Technologies esa offer online classes. Ma Slam Technologies en for mo ne paye en se sa wadjuma shebre. Be ka Slam Technologies in hon. So wo you esa fre 571-379-8933. So wo gana swa 054-687-5600. En ase ube ti miya visit Slam Technology wo mo website so www. Ghana Mart a eh, platform, just a website, how to make call, how to make Tony Amar, Rodo, Amar, Foga. Anywhere, oh, we are saying, how to make call your website, oh, to make talk, just a more oil, milo, sugar, a journey, many different saying, drinks, biscuits. Utoya the following day, I'm going to make In some instances, I'm going to the same day, I'm going to make it. 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 So, anytime, in any occasion. Time be out there. We call your website Utonia Mana Wadof Numa Ghana Ebena. Ghanamat.com. G H A N A N A. Whenever you're grinding or climbing and the energy's low, ruling, moving, and grooving, and the things go slow, whether chilling with your lover or on fire for dough, if you need a break, holler by smile and flow. Oh, Mama Royal Chocolate is the way to go from 100% premium Ghana cocoa. For work, friends, family, oh, that's for sure. Oh, Mama Royal Chocolate, hey, give me some more. Mmm, delicious. Incredible edible happiness. Cocoa Shenum. It's your Mama Royal Chocolate, dear. It must be the world's richest real chocolate made from 100% premium Ghana cocoa. For bulk purchase, ring 0501-322-584. That's 0501-322-584. For the family and friends and workmates too, oh Mama Royal, I won't come with Mmm, delicious. No, don't move me here.
Mais le Covid, il y a Covid, il y a le clair. of the role he has played before. First, as majority chief whip, he proceeded to become majority leader. And so we are here this morning, Mr. Speaker, to present to you the mortal remains <laughs> of your former majority leader. So that uh, whatever custom that have to be performed. You proceed with those customs, and then we can then proceed to take the body uh, to the family house for the rest of the ceremonies to proceed. We are doing the interment in his hometown in Nkunya tomorrow. And so, uh, Mr. Speaker, I have the honor to present to you the mortal remains of your former. Secretary General, also former member of this Honorable House, and a leading one for that matter. Yesterday, this Honorable House paid glowing tribute to the former leader of the House, not just majority leader, but also leader of the House in that capacity. 
and we have pledged to follow the program to its entirety and all that needs to be done, both customarily and deservingly, will be done accordingly. For now, we will enter and then have a few time of paying respect and we will allow you to proceed with other arrangements. We thank you. The Speaker of Parliament, Enas Abre Waye, welcome. Enti Sabre Diaka, and I say, Yabet was so nafi. Yerumu. Sabre, uh, Parliament down her and now who a qua a year or some cacra a day. I'm a openy and we a year over some cacra and penny for a bar not one about it. Uh, members of parliament, no, you know, uh, 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 uh. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We shall begin with an opening prayer, and we call upon Rabbi Ntosu to give us the prayer. And as I remember, of Parliament, and uh, one more at Nase. Na yebe kwa na yako kofa opening opening prayer na juu mdi na trust usaidi kanya na we ya short ceremony after ya nono ansana yadi emu no ako from the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit Amen Father we thank you for this day that you have made and blessed we thank you Father for this gathering we are here Father to pay the well our brother our father a former colleague a former chairman of the NDC party. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We know that spirit of the living God is you who can help wipe away every tear on our eyes. We pray that you'll be in our midst. Whatever happens this day, Father, we come into your mighty hands. And we pray, Father, though, that when we are done with this place, we are not done. Father, with the funeral people will be traveling all the way to Nkonya. We pray for our traveling mercies. Let this day be a day that we will glorify your holy name. That your name alone will be praised in all our tears. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you so much. Voices of Democracy, give us a hymn. We'll sing MHB 831. Give me the wings of faith to rise within the veil and see. Yes. 
Voices of Democracy, a uh, parliament choir, uh, or more uh, to jump. Na uh, we a short ceremony said the media kind of two journal and which and sunny at the mono aqua and quinya and tea. You're at was Set Kwame Champon Eba now be kind Shono na we have first scripture reading. Ever funny set over some kakra. It's taken from the gospel of St. John chapter eleven verses seventeen through to twenty seven. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to, him, to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, 
your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God indeed. Thank you, our member, for the reading of the word of God. We would want to do one hymn, then after that, one or two remarks, then we will do the file first. Within the next five to seven minutes, we should be out of this place. Begone on belief, voices of democracy. Shall we be kindly upstanding?
invite Prabhupada and Tosu to do the second scripture reading. Yet so ewo the Parliament House of Ghana we eye osom tiawa aye ye de ama Dr. Kwabneje former chairman and a former member of parliament ewo Parliament House and Sana ye de mu no atwaso akọ enkonya is taken from numbers 23 reading at verse 6 through to 12 so he went back to him and found him standing beside his offering with all the mobile officials then Balaam spoke to his message. Bela brought me from Aram, the king of Moab, from the eastern mountains. Come, he said, curse Jacob for me. Come, denounce Israel. How can I curse those whom God has not cursed? How can I denounce those whom the Lord has not denounced? From the rocky peaks, I see them. From the heights, I view them. I see a people who live apart and do not consider themselves one of the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob or number even a fourth of Israel? Let me die the death of righteous and may my final end be like this. Balak said to Balaam, What have you done to me? I brought you to curse my enemies, but you have done nothing but bless them. He answered, Must I not speak what the Lord puts in my mouth? This is the word of God. Thanks be to God indeed. And that is a scripture that I have always reflected on in times like this. As we prepare to do the filing passed in a minute or two. I want to draw your attention to this particular scripture. Let me die the death of the righteous and let my end be like him. Because in Revelation chapter 14, verse 13, the Bible states, Blessed are the dead. Who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit. They shall rest from their labors and their works. Do follow them. May it be our prayer because death is a certainty. As Shakespeare puts it, it will come when it will come. It doesn't make any announcement. No one knows. But if you have this prayer that you want to die the death of the righteous so that your end will be like the righteous, having in mind the fact that those who die in the Lord are blessed and their works do follow them. May you and I, may it be our prayer, day in our work with God, that will die the death of the righteous and our end will be like him. The Lord bless his word. Amen. Amen. We will now do the filing past Voices of Democracy. You continue with your hands as we start the filing past. I think uh, right now we speaker and leadership will do and will follow in that order for honorable members and thereafter staff. Sabri, uh, Penny Fire, what my gun, I'm rushing with your fee, and uh, one more day, dear friend, I said, Last respect to Nubi, a day, Emma. The tennis, and yeah, dear, I may be at that kind of so I will have Nemo, uh, and Tomano, and Sabri, one more, a year, a year, free so. Speaker of Parliament, Sanso, and Majority Leader, and Minority Leader, Minority Fono Etwaso, Woman, and last respect, and I say. 
Womuni dia i chat wakra ede ama Dr. Kwabena AJ. Inti shana so se yada so ewo wamai Ghana emra shebe jefie. Members of Parliament no ena sabre wamo ato santia wamo ekono. Kennedy a compre kon e Japan ena wuni se waje ye ne gold color. And then one can say no more. I was sitting, and to sit in no more. And I was more exquisite. This this first part, you know, at the year I was some strong call. At the I'm a doctor. Kwabena AJ and Sana. I was more as sitting. I know I can say Asha. Yeah. And then a Friday. Mostly no Friday. Say yeah. Na I was more as sitting. I know NCP. NC no Parliament. NC ever call. I was more as sitting. I emo. And the way ye before, and I said, I was so me and Koso. And I said, I'm paying for me at Tassiano, and you were somewhat a betcher. A warm or a free heart, now fear your trussel, a co and cunya, a ho, and a busia, and Cassa, a wa, warm or a year no, a bacacus, so a woho, na warm or a penny crab, and so a woho. Then I'm saying that we're ye, Mashbe, you didn't know, one more Edeno, a bar, or my gun, a Mashbe, you fear, Sabri, members of parliament, who want to say, Womo ato santia, womo ebema, womo last respect. Onoese lawyer attaching ena sabre na sumwa ha members of parliament are wamu hani ni na ano enim doctor kwabneje yipa acha se wamu ni no aye juma pain wayo wayo said ya na wamu ebone mrani ano sabre samsia hi ena wedi former president Rollins ne ba zinato enimu ano enti members of parliament ano ena sabre wamu file pass. One thing is, Doctor Kwabneje, na we will be able to finish our career cross because we are sharing about what we are doing in Kasanoa. We are some of our UP. I will be finish it. And they are going to NPP Amanyoku no Emo Ansana. We are going to NDC Amanyoku. So a lot of people saw him as a unifier. Ah, we bring one who is saying we will be able to come from one Kasano. Na we are sharing. And today, Amanyo said no. Any kiki 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 kiki. And they are both NDC and MPP. I can't believe that we are more yes some at the Amanoa. Yes, 
they are members of parliament uh or more colleague you know and it is oh yeah chassis and another ndc franca a kataso then so one more a ye a free so he said uh parliamentary proceedings and actually says i ban to say no one more fun is a woman in a in here and you know one more partisanship no if you hope not one more account more i get or some no and which you know not party no so it me at us with it sabre idea as we get more and uh over quite quite that prequel come to bring proceedings to a close. Um, we would shortly hear a word or two from the minority and majority leaders. And then uh, finally, if Mr. Speaker so desires, he will also give us a word or two. Whilst we prepare to listen to minority leader, let me draw attention that the family is aware that not every member of parliament would, for one reason or the other, be able to make it to Nkonya uh, Nchumur for the barrier service and internment. So there's a donation table around from Universal Merchant Bank. The table is somewhere located within the prison, right there to my right. Uh, all honorable members who may want to do some donation could approach the table and it will be recorded. So all who would want to do donation and may not be able to make it, please take note. The donation table is right here. Thank you very much. At this time, we invite minority leader to give us a word of you. Honorable Harina, it is you. Sabre, Yebeti, Nensemo, Kakra. I want to end with that. Right, Honorable. Speaker, Professor Michael Kwe, Majority Leader and Leader of Government Business, Deputy Leader and Whips, National Chairman of Usuampo for General Secretary, Honorable Asidin Ketia, the respected family of Dr. Kobnaje, mourners and sympathizers, is with a heavy heart that I pay my last respect to Wayo. For those of you who are not familiar with the word Wayo, in Hausa, translated to Chi is Nyansa. He was an accomplished academician, astute politician who made extraordinary contribution to the social and economic development of our country. I want to eulogize him in just one word. Dr. Kovnaji 
had ownership of his convictions. And when he believed it was right, he was uncompromising with those convictions. As we bid him farewell, Ghanaians will remember him that under him a, first, a forestry master development plan was initiated for this republic. Under him, ticks were harvested to support the electrification program of our country. I had the privilege to work with him as his national youth organizer, then with chairman of Uzwan Pofo and some of my colleagues who are here. We worked hard, we worked hard, and we successfully won the 2009 elections. He's made his contribution to our democracy. He's made his contribution to parliamentary democracy. And Mr. Speaker, I should recognize that when you directed leadership to go to his home, at the instance of my colleague, the majority leader, he said to me that, Harun, we need to accord Kovnaji the needed respect as somebody who has tirelessly contributed to parliament and the republic. And therefore, I will be engaging the executive for him to be given a fitting burial. I teasingly told the majority leader that fortunately for me, my funeral will not be elaborate. Mr. Speaker, we bid Wayo Wayo well. May the soul rest in perfect peace. My condolences to the family. Shall I invite majority leader, our majority leader, Sorry, Majority Leader, Honorable Ose Chairman San Bonsu, and Edunusu. Don't be surprised, Bob of Wakasia. Colleagues in leadership in Parliament, the National Chairman of the NDC, the General Secretary of the NDC and other leaders of the NDC. On behalf of Parliament, yesterday we paid glowing tribute to the Honorable Dr. Kwabeneji, the most distinguished academician and politician. I personally got to hear about Dr. Kwabeneji in the 80s, when I had gone to Nigeria to visit a friend who now is the regional chief imam of Ashanti region. He was a close pal to Dr. Kamleji. So he mentioned him to me, and that was my first encounter with Dr. Kamleji. An accomplished politician. He came down to Ghana, served first as a deputy regional secretary for the water region in the PNDC days, later assumed so many other positions within the PNDC administration into constitutionalism. He entered parliament, and I must quickly add, that in 1979, he contested for the Biakuya seat on the ticket of the Popular Front Party. And he lost to Dr. Obed Yawasamwa. And um, so he couldn't come to Parliament. But here is one person in Parliament who rose through the ranks. He started first as a deputy majority whip became chief whip for the majority, and then later as a deputy minister and minister, substantive minister. He then became the majority leader succeeding Honorable J.H. Usue Champo. And we had encounters in this very office when he served as a majority leader he introduced, he continued, I should say, the practice of winnowing in Parliament. So because I was really interested in the fashioning of laws that came to Parliament, 
I got close to him. And we used to work late into the evening trying to clean up bills that had come to parliament. A very argumentative personality, but he argued from positions of principle. And if he saw superior argument, he bowed to that. Affable, and yet utterly loquacious in his arguments. Bravo. But a very humble personality who came down to earth and engaged the ordinary ranks in society. Dr. Kobna Jay has served this nation in various capacities and that is why I thought the state should recognize his contributions and accord him state burial. Unfortunately, it appears the family had put together their own program and it was difficult to get the state to do that. Notwithstanding, I'm aware that as late as the day before yesterday, the president brought in something to assist the family in the organization of the family. Of the family. Today, parliament is determined to rise early in order for many of us who want to travel to Nkonya, in Chimuru, to commiserate with the family and participate in the funeral organization and indeed the celebration of the life of Dr. Kwabineji. On this occasion of his parting, all that we can say is that he's left a huge vacuum which is going to be very difficult to fill. Notwithstanding, even though we loved him greatly, we believe his creator loves him better than we did uh, love him. May we console the family, wish them well, and to wish that God grants him eternal peace. May he rest in peace forever and ever. Amen. I promise, brother, uh, I can send the wedding paper. Honourable, I say, Chairman, I will answer. And what's the name? Sabre Speaker. And uh, uh, Professor Mike Aaron Okwe. <laughs> In fact, I sign your support, Reverend. Brothers and sisters, here assembled, just to make my protocol short, all protocols observed. I have a few remarks to which I hold very dearly, and that's the reason for my speaking at all, my leaders having spoken. One, Dr. Kwabena Ajay, Honorable, was a voice, an actor of moderation in our politics at one time. Give me a hand, him a hand for that. The dichotomy in Ghanaian politics sometimes pain me. We take stands, we are like parallel lines. I think his death should remind us that there's no virtue in that situation. Secondly, he was a man who was principled and showed in his various activities and actions that he went by his convictions. He could be wrong, but he was sincere and convinced about the steps he took. Third, he was honest. He was not corrupt. I follow Ghanaian politics, and I'm telling this in public. He was not corrupt. And it's a quality we need for men and women in public life. And when some stand to it, it must be recognized as an example. These are the things 
I want to say about this great man. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Dr. Kamene J. Ho, Adan Setiawa, and now to say speaker, Professor Mike Okwe, Wade Atubiano. Sabri, we shall invite the General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress, the person of Honorable Johnson, Asi Dungetia, to say a few words. General Secretary, Brad Johnson. Uh, Thank you very much. Since there will be opportunity for us to pay tribute to our leader in Nkonya, I will not want to spend much time uh, talking about Dr. Kwabraje. Suffice it to say, however, that I've known Dr. Kwabraje for over 30 years. We've worked together. We came to parliament together and left parliament together. We have worked together first when he was uh, the chief whip, chief whip of parliament. And I happen to be one of the adjunct provocateurs in parliament at that time. So he needed my services to be able to mobilize. And that was when we became very close. And I've never regretted my working with Dr. Kwabranje, as faith will have it. When he was made Minister of Agriculture, I was made Deputy Minister of Agriculture. And we worked together there too. And then when we left Parliament, he decided, he called me and said he wanted to be General Secretary of the party. I also told him I wanted to be General Secretary of the party. So we had to come together to, you know, seek consensus. And that's how come I proposed to him that he should be National Chairman and I'll work under him again as General Secretary. We were, as Mr. Speaker testified, we were had been ministers who didn't know how to make money. So at that stage, we didn't have money to campaign. So I said, Doctor, how are we going to campaign? Then he said, well, then let us combine our forces like Captain Smart. In those days, you remember Captain Smart uh, film. <laughs> Captain Planet. I beg your pardon. So that's how come we started joint campaigning in NDC. So that we put forces, move together in one vehicle. Then when we had to pay for venues for events, we again pull resources to do the same. Luckily we won and were able to fight to bring NDC back to power. I worked with him. And beside being his general secretary, I have been a personal friend. And even on the occasion where there was every indication that he was going to lose the next election as national chairman, I stood by him and said that whether he remains national chairman or not, our friendship will remain till death does his part. I stand here with a very heavy heart to bid my brother farewell. I want to also thank the President of the Republic for the magnanimity shown by offering support for the FINRA. And let me thank on behalf of the party and the speaker. Thank, uh, on behalf of the party and the family, we want to thank the speaker and the leadership of parliament for this respect 
to Dr. Kwabranje. We will remain ever grateful. Tomorrow, I will not all of you will be able to join us to Nkonya. I will go there with the confidence that all of you are behind us in giving our brother a fitting farewell. Thank you very much, and may God bless us. General Secretary Johnson, as you don't get here. And uh, we would invite a member of the family to tell us a few things about arrangements in brief as we pray to enter the chamber. Mr. Speaker, distinguished members of parliament, honorable party officials, my name is Samuel Corantin Pepem. I'm the junior brother of Dr. Kwabnaje. I want to thank you for the generosity and magnanimity displayed in bringing him back to the place where for more than 12 years in his capacity as a member of parliament he served. And beyond that, as an appointed cabinet official, this was his hunting ground. It is therefore fitting that you've accorded him this privilege of allowing him to pay his last respect. I know tomorrow several of you would be coming. I think he would appreciate it on his funeral that you are there because Kwabena just stood for some principles and I'm sure you want to know what made him think. The things you have said about him are all very true. He was a man of incredible convictions. He stood for what he knew to be right. He could be at times be wrong but he stood for what he knew to be right. He was not corrupt, and this shouldn't come as a surprise to you. In fact, in my last conversation with him before his death, he said, I want to be remembered as one person who never betrayed this country. I would rather die poor. I would rather die poor, but rich. Dr. Kwabnai J also was a great pan-Africanist. And he believed in the ideals of the African Renaissance and Agenda 2063. His message to each one of you is work to ensure the stability of the institutions of government. He sought to bring the two parties together. And he grieved in his last days as the continuing polarization. Yes, there should be ideological differences, but we are one Ghana. And he wants parliament to work together as a family for the betterment of our great nation. On behalf of the family, I want to thank every one of you for what you did for our brother. We look forward to seeing you carry the baton, the best homage you can give him, the best way you can honor his memory is if you can live out the ideals that he lived for. May the Lord bless each one of you, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and hopefully you'll get to know who this great man was. Thank you very much. Dr. Kwabeneje, and in here, and would the... Nebra, who I dance here. Sabre was some parliament today, and all yet they ever 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 We've come to a successful end. Our prayer is our Lord. You lead us as we continue business in the house. Our prayer is our Lord. You lead the family safely to Mkonya and tomorrow. We know you protect and guide them throughout the journey for them to reach safely. Now, into God's gracious hands, we commit ourselves and we ask that may the power that brought back Jesus Christ from the grave,
that great shepherd of the sheep. Keep you perfect and blameless in all your ways until the day you meet your maker. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. God bless us all. All right. We would have the body moved. So, undertakers.
All right, it's uh, Dr. Kwamneje Emuno and uh, Yade Ato Eshen Muna. So, then, Penny Fonchi Mu Etiano and Cunya and uh, Yade Emuno, a free her a co. Na a year no one casa, a shesha so a year at that watch now. Quick one. Um, dear now, back for Doctor Kamenei. We must say, "Uno gunsa." By the way, the other day, a modern way of hearing gunsa. Well, Kamenei, uh, Mekai, uh, prior to 2008 campaign, so 2005, in the year in the chairman, I was for India. So I am now the general, so as a general secretary. Now, 2008 campaign, it is through Pana Mekai, no, and our president Mills, aye, aye, Frank Atuni, Kamenei. I'm first election in the agro. Me kite the number of times of Bakuku Hill. I want a flag bearer at Tamil's Benjamin Kitan with the Satan Army and I'm here, director of communications for the campaign team. I and a Juma or a Kuku Hill. So, Potokas, I mean, he did a human's job as a leader. One for election in the agro. And I win him, yes, so President Mel, so I'm for Kamneje in the agro. A bunny foot to a big free party chairman, a big free executive, so I know. President Mel, I'm for in the agro. And the relationship between the party and the government was excellent. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. President Mills, he did so. One is a few way no be near seven years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On so, he just he called here. July twenty-fourth, he be kai say ufri ye no. July twenty-fourth, we be saying ako asunje park. Oh, we say asunje park in the side by our mamre. He and tune chini. He then he then say how fukura. A ban is ever called a coho. A day a friend is saying, um, the train I could I could go, I mean, at all, a kind of day, a bay. The Kamneji, Nakupo Aduma, Ochina, and Kunya, me assures by this time, no, yeah, yeah, a pair, baby, or better. Ain't he? On Nanty, he worked well for the NDC, and with the speaker, any other leaders now, and near Dancy or Mudia, no, and yet NDC, you might want to obey, or a gunner, you might be an affair, or your UP. And Sana Revolution Time, or Bedom President Rollins, or Moya Juma, or by NDC, who to me was an idea. Baby and Akuma, the neighbor, Cosset, or near Juman Bagana, a honor, Nancy Defa. Ain't he Yamaniaco, or Nancy? Incredible hard, Yamaniacoma, Ejata. And then there, we are sure, sir, Omudrua, Uncomo Moody, Omidi. I mean, so my Omodi, yes, why I catch you know. Yafa Moody and here, say, or Chenebus, Yanko Pomfrey, yes or not. Ye di and one dance pa. Enti Moni Juma. Ah oh yeah. Oh yeah Juma also we juma at the Abuagana. Kofi ya dance. Moni dance pa. All right, na aha and uh yeah do ABC from the Parliament House of Ghana. Uh yeah that's a so kind of home I wore in live broadcast see any name. Yeah that's it. On behalf of the team, Nana Sifa, Honey Bobo, and uh Mac and the rest in the Nano. Yeah that was it.
Hi, my name is Afo, a handyman from Jack. Are you a handyman looking to get more jobs and expand your business reach? Join me on Jack, the mobile app that creates opportunities for handymen to list their services for customers to search and hire. If you are a plumber, carpenter, mason, electrician, cleaner, gardener, auto mechanic, carpet cleaner, fumigator, and what have you, join me on Jack and get hired. Download the Jack SB app from the Google Play Store and App Store. Sign up and get approved and start working. Jack Mikodada. Miadofu, who pesa wose sa wajuma? Na wudi sike muodu. Ah, esweni. Slam Technologies at the computer this year be aba. Ebe bwao. I'm what Chum Pong. I wo computer juma yemu. Slam Technologies. Eji di se. Entre entre pa. Any nea in Sanu Numa a cahon. Into a modern woman, a chira wadieno, now one sasu idiotry. Slam Technologies, a wo, Manassas, Virginia, Worcester, Massachusetts, and Accra, Ghana. Yamo Kru Dia, a mane how Slam Technologies, as I offer online classes. Ma Slam Technologies, and for Mune Paye, and Sasawa Juma Shebre, Becca Slam Technologies. So will USA, Fred 571 379. 8933 so Ghana swa 54 687 5600 and I say we visit Slam Technology one more website so www. Ghana Math a platform says a website uh out to me call out to me Tony Ma Rodo Man for Ghana. Anywhere I hold we are saying out to me call your website or to me talk says a more oil, milo, sugar, a granny, any Friends saying drinks, biscuits. Utoya the following day, I'm on such a maker. In some instances, I will the same day, I'm on such a maker. Which means also a talk credit. Utoya and I could go on my phone. So, anytime, any occasion, time be out there. Ukoya website, Utonia Mana, one of no more Ghana, the Benya. Ghanamart.com. G H A N A N A. Whenever you're grinding or climbing and the energy's low Rolling, moving and grooving and the things go slow Whether chilling with your lover or on fire for dough If you need a break, holler, bite, smile and flow On Mama Royal Chocolate is the way to go From 100% premium Ghana cocoa For work, friends, family, oh, that's for sure On Mama Royal Chocolate, hey, give me some more Mmm, delicious Incredible edible happiness Cocoa Shenum It's your Mama Royal Chocolate, dear It must be the world's richest real chocolate Made from 100% premium Ghana cocoa for bulk purchase, ring 0501-322-584. That's 0501-322-584. For the family and friends and workmates too, Omama Royal, I'm Kawamutsu. Mmm, delicious. No, don't want me be here. A good food drink for the family. We are in no room about what we are doing. Yes, I'm so. Coffee ginger powder and a coffee chili pepper powder. FDA. Actually, sir, I'm ready to enter to him. I'm here to say a year.